Hello everybody. This one is just going to be a little standalone quickie. Alright? Alright. We'll show you how to get custom mouse cursors in your whole page or maybe just a portion of the page or just a specific element. It's especially handy when you're trying to change the cursor, the mouse cursor, in the canvas. Because sometimes you'll have video games running in the canvas or some kind of interactive application you might want to change the the mouse pointer to maybe a crosshair for a gun or something like that so people can shoot the stuff okay we have the bare bones of an HTML5 document and you will see the normal mouse pointer and the way that it looks so what we'll do is go up into our style element or wherever your CSS happens to be and we'll put the star symbol the asterisk that will target every element in the document and we'll put the cursor attribute and URL for the cursor file that we want to use and then we'll put a comma and default to make it default and I'm gonna use my crosshair dot cur file which is short for cursor and the dot cur extension is for cursor files now let's take a look in our browser and you can see that we have the crosshair has replaced the mouse now people can shoot things on my web page. So if you were to look at this in Firefox, you probably wouldn't see your custom cursor because the body's height, the body has no height because there's no elements on the page. But if you had a, a regular page that was already full of content, you would see the custom cursor. But since my page has nothing on it yet, I'll have to put in body height 100% of the viewport height. Now if I preview this in Firefox, now I see the cursor. See if I remove that and then refresh in Firefox, no custom cursor. So that's the only reason I'm going to put body height 100% of the viewport height. But normally you'd have a page full of things on it already so you wouldn't have to worry about that too much. So let's say if we put a button and then the button text will be click me. Let's take a look at that. You see the hotspot for the uh, custom cursor is directly in the center. Now you can also move that hotspot by putting, if I put zero, zero, this is the X axis and this is the Y axis. That means it's gonna be in the top left corner now, the hotspot, see? See, I was clicking the button from the top left corner now. So using these two numbers, you can move where the hotspot is for the custom cursor according to the numbers that you want to put in place for the X and Y position of the hotspot. And then if you wanted, let's say, some certain elements to have the normal one, then you can take cursor, property, and just put it on default and then when we go over the button it turns back to the normal arrow so the rest of the page it will be the custom cursor and then over that element it'll be the the normal arrow now let's change this button to canvas element and let's put in style rule for the canvas and we'll make it to where that cursor only shows up on the canvas. Let's get rid of that. And we won't need that anymore. Let's take a look. Now when somebody's playing the game and they go with their mouse into the canvas area, that's when the crosshairs will show up as the custom mouse cursor inside of the game or interactive application that I have going on in my canvas. Now you can go to certain websites that offer uh, little applications where you can create your own .cur files and you can design them to look like anything you want. That's how I created the crosshair. And some browsers might even let you use the .png file or a .png image or a JPEG image, but it might not show up in all of the different browsers. So we already tested this in Chrome and Firefox Let's see it in Internet Explorer. See? So it even works in Internet Explorer with the .cur file. So you can either 
look for a free .cur files online or just use an application that lets you create cursor files. Uh, I think you can create them in Paint and maybe even Photoshop. I'm not sure about that, but you can try. But there's definitely tools online that will let you create a dot cursor file. And I think there's some tools that will let you convert like a PNG image to a cursor file also. So just look around online and see what you can find. And that's about it. So have fun creating your custom cursor files so you can change that regular arrow pointer to whatever kind of image that you want or graphics for your games and interactive applications or if you just want to have a different mouse cursor on the screen for your whole entire web page.